I've talked a bunch about the Drake equation, or our own version of the Drake equation, that starts with the with the number of stars in the galaxy. But I haven't given it a shot yet. I haven't tried my own attempt at thinking about how many detectable civilizations there are. So let's actually do that here. So let's just assume, let's just assume that there are 100 billion stars. 100 billion stars. So that's my first term right over there. Let's say that one fourth, let's say that one fourth will develop planets. Will develop planets. And let's say of the solar systems that develop planets, on average, on average, let's say that point that they develop an average of 0.1 planets capable of sustaining life. Or really, that you'll have one planet for every 10 of these solar systems with planets. That's just my assumption there. I don't know if that's right. Now let's multiply that times the fraction of these planets capable of sustaining life that actually will get life. And I don't know what that is. But I hinted in previous videos that life is one of those things that it seems like if you have all the right ingredients, it's so robust that you have life at these underwater volcanoes. You have bacteria that can process all sorts of weird things. So let's say that that probability is pretty high. Let's say that that is 50% or, or half of the planets that are capable of getting life actually do have la life. I would guess that that might even be higher. But once again, just a guess. Now we have to think about of the life, what fraction becomes intelligent? What becomes intelligent over some point in the history? Well, I'll say it's a tenth. A tenth of all. You know, Maybe if the asteroids didn't kill the dinosaurs, it wouldn't have happened on Earth. Who knows? Or maybe we just have some very intelligent dinosaurs around. We don't know. So, And maybe there's other forms of intelligent life, even on our own planet, that we haven't fully appreciated. Dolphins are a good, uh, are a good candidate. Some people believe that uh, octopuses, have the, because they have such flexible arms, there's a theory that they could develop eventually the ability to kind of one day, if they if their brains mature and all of the rest, make tools the same way primitive primates eventually were able to uh, have larger brain sizes and actually manipulate things to make tools. So who knows? I don't want to get into all of that. So there's a 1 in 10 chance that you get intelligent life. And then assuming that intelligent life shows up, what fraction is going to become detectable? I don't know. I don't know whether dolphins will ever communicate via radio or not. So let's just say that that is, I don't know, let's say that that is another another 1 in 10 chance, or I'll say 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then we have to multiply it times the detectable life of the civilization on average. And once again, huge assumptions being here, but the detectable life of a civilization, let me just put it at 10,000 years. 10,000 years. Either they destroy themselves or they get beyond that type of radio type communication, electromagnetic type communication. Maybe they start doing all sorts of weird, wacky things. Probably it won't take you 10,000 years to even progress it. That might take you less time. But let's just do this just for the sake of fun. And then the lifespan of your average star, that's probably one of the things that we have the best sense of. So on average, let's put it at 10 billion years. 10 billion years. So let's calculate all of this. Let's get my handy TI-85 out. And so we're going to have 100 billion. That's 1 times 10 to the 9th. Sorry, that's not 1. That's 100 times 10 to the 9th. So let me clear it. Or you could have 1 times 10 to the 11th. That is 100 billion times 0.25 times 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.1 again times 0.1 times 0.1 again times 0.1 times 10,000 divided by 10 billion. So times, so times 10,000, 1, 2, 3, divided by 10 billion. So that's 1 e 10. 1 times 10 to the 10th power, 1 with 10 zeros. So let's see what we get. We get 12.5, which is kind of a neat number, but you know these are heavily dependent on this. So I'm, we're saying if we, given these assumptions, there should be 12.5 detectable civilizations, detectable civilizations in our in our galaxy right now. So the question is, why aren't we detecting it? Maybe their radio signals, maybe their electromagnetic waves are getting to us, but we don't we can't differentiate it from noise right now. And that's what the whole SETI project's all about, of trying to 
try to keep track of all of this information that that all of this these radio waves and electromagnetic waves that are coming from outer space towards Earth and seeing if any of them actually have any non-noise signal that actually look like they're being generated by some type of intelligent civilization. So maybe we're getting them and we're just not detecting them, or maybe something else is at play. Maybe we've overestimated one of these. Maybe there is a lot of life, but maybe they're not using electromagnetic waves to communicate. Maybe that's some type of primitive way of communicating. Maybe they start doing telepathy or something crazy, or they start using some type of quantum thing that allows them to communicate more uh, directly without having to wait for the speed of light. Uh, you know, they view that as a very slow way to communicate. And it is a slow way, frankly, if you're trying to communicate across solar systems and stars and planets, or even across galaxies, one can imagine. So maybe, maybe we're just kind of in a transition state of communication. That electromagnetic waves, radio, and all the rest is just a transition state. Maybe in 100 years, we'll figure out another better way that's not detectable in our traditional ways. Maybe we're being bombarded with another type of communication mechanism that we're just not ready to perceive yet. Who knows? But it's just a fun thought experiment to say that, hey, given these assumptions, there should be at least a couple of civilizations or a handful of civilizations that we might be able to detect.